Bitcoin questions and challenges our understanding of money and our understanding of how a currency should work. Mm -hmm. And it fundamentally changes how we uh, spend and uh, how, how we, how we nicht not spend, treat and own our money. Because once you, once you own your Bitcoin and you can um, use it and you don't have a bank getting nosy about it or, um, you know, some kind of middleman taking fees or stopping payments or asking for documentation or whatnot, you realize that your money in the bank, you don't own it. It's probably not even there. And that is the first step to then questioning a lot of things because it's not just finance. It's then you see how the media talks about Bitcoin and you start seeing, look, There's a lot of reports about Bitcoin that aren't researched at all, that just pick some sensationalized talking points. And then you start questioning, okay, um, is, is that an honest mistake in a specific article or is there an agenda behind it? And then you see things like, for example, um, there was this campaign, this change the code campaign where they wanted Bitcoin to move from proof of work to proof of stake or something. Yeah. And they put millions of dollars in that campaign. And then you see the articles and the media reports about it and you see, okay, there's money involved. And then you start thinking from there, if that mm -hmm. is how they report on Bitcoin, how do they report on other issues? Mm -hmm.